So for this, I've got 243 to the negative V is equal to 81. Now, 3 to the first power is 3. 3 squared is 9. 3 to the third power equals 27. 3 to the fourth power equals 81. And 3 to the fifth power equals 243. Right? So I'm going to rewrite this as 3 to the fifth power raised to the negative v, which is also equal to 81, which is 3 to the fourth power. Remember our properties of exponents, I'm going to take negative v and multiply it by 5. So that means this whole thing becomes 3 to the negative 5v is equal to 3 to the 4. Well, in order for those to be equal, because they're the same base, I'm going to say negative 5v has to equal 4, right? Well, how do I solve that? I'm going to divide by negative 5, divide by negative 5, and v equals negative 4 fifths. That's my answer. Now, if I graph that, which I did in Desmos, I'm graphing the left-hand side of the equal sign. I'm graphing the right-hand side of the equal sign. Notice that they cross at negative 0.8. Whoops. Okay, so I'm going to take a screenshot of that. Maybe. Hold on, I'm not, let me finish this. That's, now the solution is just the x value, so we're only interested in the x value. Now, that is our solution. I don't care about the 81, I just care about the negative 0.8. How can I make sure that negative 0.8 is the same as negative 4 fifths? Well, there's two ways. I could go into my calculator, my fancy calculator, and I could say negative 0.8, hit the math button, change that to a fraction, yes? Mm -hmm. Hit enter, boom, negative 4 fifths. Or I could say negative 4 divided by 5. Either way, does that make sense? Okay. That's it. That's all you have to do. Now, what was your question?